23 in Trinidad and Tobago. The doubles and Alupai vendors obviously doing a roaring trade already uh, on the main road in Debe, even as the traffic goes by, as we have a, a look at the camera of traffic, tt.com. And what appears to be a bright morning so far in much of Trinidad and I suppose Tobago as well, but uh, that doesn't preclude uh, the, the showers bubbling up or the clouds bubbling up in mid-morning, early afternoon. So we have to be mindful of that as well. But let's uh, move towards our next discussion. And, and I have to say, when you have celebrities like Case Diffintala uh, on the show, everybody want to get a selfie. So they kind of keep us back a little bit with, with everybody looking to get a, a selfie with, with, with the star boy who was in here a little while ago. I, I, I have to say I, I also, to be honest, I'm not exactly looking forward to this segment because it will remind me of how much homework I didn't do that I should have been doing in a couple of uh, uh, the languages that, that are still spoken here in Trinidad and Tobago. But here's an opportunity for you to brush up or to learn uh, 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 so some Bhojpuri and Patwa uh, with classes being held by Caribbean Yard Campus from the 25th of next, uh, next, this month. Sorry, It's going to be next week starting on the Wednesday, the day after Republic Day. Don't forget Republic Day, a national holiday, is going to be next Tuesday. And the classes will begin uh, their 12 week run, Trinidad Bhojpuri and Trinidad Patwa courses for all those who want to learn more about these dying heritage languages. Hopefully they're not dying as much as they used to and that they're being revived and practiced uh, a lot more. These languages form part of our rich Trinbegonian culture from music to street names to folklore to expressions like Saki Kawiwe. Oh, uh, and, and, and those sorts of expressions <laughs> in that sense, like, what the hell really going on? <laughs> uh, we're here to tell us more about the history and the classes offered. We're joined uh, by two personalities who are very much part of our language sessions, Dr. Visham Bimal, a Trinidad Bhojpuri teacher, and Namdi Hodge, Trinidad Patwa teacher. Good morning, gentlemen. Morning. Should, I say, should I say bonjour, bonjour? Bonjour, bonjour, Fazil. Right. Comment are Don't start that because I carry it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you don't start that either because I'm struggling already. See, see why I didn't? You must come to the classes then. Actually. Indeed, I should come to I'm the classes. It, yes. So let's get the information. The classes uh, are right. from so next the, week, yes. Wednesday. So we have classes, right. Bochuri on Wednesdays from 5 to 7. Right. And Saturdays 2 to 5. 12 weeks long, uh, very immersive and interactive. So we have a lot of songs and games. You can learn the language, but as well as songs and games and outings that come in this way, it's spoken still. Um, and the, the Bochuri classes are going to be? Um, on Wednesday from 5 to 7 and Saturdays from 2 to 5. Okay, uh, so, so it's also going to be on Wednesdays as well? No, no, the, 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 the Patwa is Thursdays. Okay, Patwa is Thursdays. Oh, is Wednesday. Which is Wednesday. Wednesday. So let me, let me because, because again, even the English I can't get right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what, what chance do I have with Bojpuri and Patwa? So the Bojpuri, Wednesdays 5 to 7 p.m., yeah. Saturdays 2 to 5 p.m., right. Patwa, Thursdays 5 to 7, Saturdays also Two to five. So what if you want to learn both? Well, yeah. yeah. You, you, you yeah sit close by and listen to you know, yeah. drop or probably Saturday go to one, Saturday go to one, and the other Saturday the other one, perhaps. It, yeah. it runs from September the 25th to December the 14th. Uh, what, what is the cost for attending? Um, 1200 for Twel six day conduct hours. All right. Um, and how do people uh, pay? How do they register uh, for these courses? Well, you're registering from the 21st. Um, you can call 771-495 for more information. So yeah. 771 There's yeah. also a landline number, 663-5463, yes. 663-5463. Uh, Dr. Bimal, how, uh, and I mean, after the classes that we would have had as well in relation to Trinidad Bojpuri or even before that, and I know you had uh, a seminar just as we were concluding our sessions as well, how much interest have you detected in learning Trinidad Bojpuri? Well, interest in Trinidad as well as internationally, as you know, the, uh, there's the Facebook page Caribbean Hindustani. Um, not only within Trinidad, but all the posts that I've done with translations of Chutney songs or Beta Ghana songs, a lot of people seem to like it, and there is definitely a need because when I had put up the classes on Caribbean Hindustani, a lot of international people were asking, well, will this be online? We'd like to attend. Um, I have found that since I've been doing this, though, a lot of people really appreciate it because through learning Hindi, they can't access the cultural information within songs and expressions from Trinidad Bhujpuri. And, uh, and as with any other language, it's sometimes you need to know that language and properly understand the lang language to get the full extent of the meaning yeah, yeah. of what is, what is being said in yeah. many cases. So, so that, that's why the importance comes in. And, and, and Namdi Hodge, t tell us a bit, because we, we reference these two languages as, as, as dying languages yes, yeah. because they might have been practiced a lot more by earlier generations. Yeah. How would you describe the state of play when it comes to Patois? 
part of is in danger. It's because of between 60 and 80. So next 30 years when they die, it'll be dead as a spoken language. Of course, we will have the songs left still, but as far as it's been spoken, it'll be dead by then, next 30 years. Why, and, and why would that trouble you? Why would that make you feel that we would have lost a part of our heritage if we've lost the, that element of the, of the language that we speak being... being well, part, part was actually our very first national language, right? It was spoken by all the races and all the classes in the 19th century. So if we lose that, we lose our inner being. You know, it's a, it's a very important part of our culture, heritage. And how much interest have you seen from, from the general public or are there specific the academics? Is the, the who, who interest is there, but then the class is always small. So people say they want to come, and then when the class comes off, we have a very small turnout most times for some reason. All right, well, yeah. let's hope people take advantage of yeah. the opportunity uh, this time around. And ho how is it going to be conducted? Are you going to, is it like a, a basic language course kind right. of thing? So the content is we have six weeks of a language course. And then we're going to have six weeks of outings to different communities. We may go to Paramin for a day and spend a day with a gardener in Paramin speaking Patwa, or go to fish with somebody in Banjish Shares for a day and speaking Patwa as well. So it's very immersive for the second part of it. We also have outings to South as well. So it's a language course as well as an immersive experience. And course. as far as the, the, the Trinidad Bojpuri, uh, uh, Dr. Bimal, how, how will, will, will that be conducted? It's the same format. You, uh, so usually how we do the language courses for the first six weeks. We do more didactic classes, listen to songs, as well as maybe uh, do poems to kind of get a grapple with the language. And the last six weeks, well, one day, which is in the week, we usually just do a class setting. And on the Saturdays, we tend to go to a community where we have a speaker and just sit with them and kind of immerse ourselves in the language. Is this the same thing with Bojpuri, that as soon as the older generations pass away or, 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 and leave us and so on, that the language is going to disappear as well? Uh, it's the same, same situation, I think, both Patwa and uh, Trinidad Bojpuri face. Uh, usually, speakers that I would have or people still fluent in the language is over 80. Um, they usually have chronic disease because I'm a medical doctor, that's why I get to interact with them. Right. Um, so yeah, within the next 20 to 30 years, I think that generation wouldn't be here any longer. So I think we have within that time to work with the youths to teach them the language so that at least we have some spark of hope with regard to us knowing the language and appreciating our identity. And why would you say that that, that is important? And, and, and I know Namdi will, will have a view on that as well because we, we talk about you know these languages being at the very core uh, of, of, our, of our identity and, and, and uh, different roots and, and all, all coming together and so on. Why would you say it's important uh, to preserve the, the, these languages? From my own personal experience, I grew up with my grandparents who would have spoken on a daily basis. I would have understood a lot of uh, the identity with regard to being from an uh, East Indian Hindu home as to what we did, uh, the daily practice, the religious practices, but going into uh, uh, Western education system in English, you tend to move away from that. Um, and the, that system of education, which we still inherit today in Trinidad, it doesn't really, is not that culturally sensitive. Um, it makes us see Trinidad English Creole, which is a separate language from uh, modern standard English, Trinidad Bhojpuri and Patwa as inferior language to modern standard English. And I think that is something that is very detrimental, especially to our Trinbagonian identity. And, and, in that, and, and we, we, I think we talked about that even in our sessions on Patwa mm -hmm. as well, that Patwa speakers were looked down upon yeah. uh, in, in, an, in an earlier period. And, and, and therefore, the, the, the same question to you, and Amdi Hodgen, in that regard. How does it help in our understanding of ourselves as Trinis by, by, yeah. by speaking Patwa and understanding okay. the first, value of Patwa? First of all, some of our language expressions in our language are from Patwa. Things that sound strange to us, for example, if you say it have in Trinidad, you know, for they are, mm -hmm. it's from Patwa. So we understand where we speak, where we speak because of Patwa as well. Also, I think we're losing ourselves to American culture. So Patwa is our base. We go back to the base, we kind of get back our base, our identity better than just being pulled by the American culture and, and music and, and different things. Maybe yeah. I missed something in our history, but uh, you could correct me if I'm wrong. We were never colonized by the French. Never. So never how could we have so much French? Immigration. They came across, gave a cellular population. Yeah. Right. So they came across from Martinique and Gaulle and Grenada. Because even, uh, and I mean, so, sorry to keep cutting yeah. across, because I've always found that <laughs> interesting that we're seven miles away from Venezuela, right. but there's more French in our Much language. more French, because the French Spanish. made up the population in the 19th century, most of the population of French or French origin. So they brought the language and culture. Even though we were never colonized. Yeah. Never so, colonized. So, so just to put some, th so the cellular population at that time, we were controlled by the Spanish, and the Spanish didn't really focus much on the resources in getting wealth from Trinidad. So they had the cellular population with the French. 
and from the French Antilles, the slave masters as well as their, uh, their slaves came across the Trinidad. So at one point in time, and it is a well part, a, a well uh, po a no a point known in history, is that Trinidad's aristocracy was Spanish, but its hoi polloi spoke every day French and French girl. There was a, even a periodical in Trinidad in French. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was quite strange to have a country that was uh, administrated in Spanish, but everybody spoke French and French girl. Well, we were strange, so obviously we were strange for a long time. <laughs> then, but the Spanish, well, the Spanish are interesting colonizers because it had no TV in those days, but I don't they were watching a La Liga game or something in <laughs> 1797. The British just yeah. sailed in and take the place and, and so on. But you never had Spanish spoken nationally, that's the problem. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just like communities like in Tabakit and, and um, Santa Cruz. There was never a national language as part of us, as the issue. And, and therefore, for the, these classes, even though, as you said, people always say, yes, you know, Namdi are interested and, yeah. don't, and don't turn up and, and they don't, uh, the classes are not well attended. Uh, the, the facilitators, uh, is it going to just be yourself? Are there other people? Do we have people coming involved? in to, um, to teach them, like, probably drumming, belly drumming, or belly dancing, or calendar stick fighting as well? But we also do a lot, as Bisham said, a lot of songs and games and game songs and proverbs. Too. So it's very cultural based as well. And the, from, from those who have actually participated in previous classes and, and actually uh, benefited from it, what sort of feedback were you able to get well, from it? Well, he's my past student, ask Bisham. He's my past student. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did enjoy a lot, I remember. Uh, being somebody of East Indian origin and doing the best in class was quite yes. interesting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yeah you had to do The good doctor was number But it was, yeah. it was really fun. And I even remember um, uh, how, how the song the Kuku Kiyo Ko Mwe 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 Shashe Ganga Mwe Sawa. Um, that was a song we actually did to learn the language, uh, Pong, Pong Stone, which is a game we play. Um, and now in, even in the Trinidad, Bhojpuri classes, we're going to introduce similar games. But it was, I honestly, after that, I went to Martinique and Guadeloupe, and I was proud to be Trinidadian, somebody of uh, Indo-Caribbean Indo identity, and go to Martinique and Guadeloupe and speak Patois, speak Antillean French Creole. Doesn't it, uh, looking on from this, doesn't it also help in our willingness to be more understanding of each other? If we are, if as you said, you from from an East Indian background, brought up in a kind of Bhojpuri home setting, to, to learn patois and to, to enrich ourselves in understanding each other's heritage and cultures. What, what I find though, the divide is something political uh, that is put in the populace to see ourselves as two separate factions. But in Trinidad, written by Cook Mig, who I remember he had said once, um, the average Trinidadian at that point who didn't access education spoke three languages. Uh, Trinidad English Creole, Trinidad Patwa, and Trinidad Bhojpuri. But once you didn't speak uh, more than standard English, you were seen as uneducated. I go to Suriname often, and the average population in Suriname speaks Sarnami, which is Sarnami Hindustani, as well as Sonantongo. Um, and they see themselves as one identity. So I think it, it, it's very important. The language is an important element now in uniting the people. And uh, a final couple of, of thoughts uh, from, from you gentlemen. Uh, Namdi, in, in relation to, to, the, to the languages that are that, uh, spoken, uh, are there any other uh, languages, any other, uh, apart from Trinidad, Bhojpuri and, and Patwa, that we should be working at reviving or at least recording uh, as best as you understand? Um, I think perhaps Trinidad Spanish that was spoken by the Copa Pyros, that could be recorded as well too. But okay. it's, not, it's not really present anymore, but it's, it's you know, it's sung and used in the Parang songs, for example. Yeah. But I think the main yeah, well, we don't even as well as they can tell us whether it's <laughs> yeah. Spanish or not. They well, can I give mean, us a I think critique. I think it's quite important being a doctor, a quarter of my clientele is uh, Spanish speaking, so I need to do it. The other point is Trinidad sign language, which is also an important part of our heritage. Uh, Dr. Ben, ben um, Brathwaite from University of the US and he also works with us at um, Yard Campus to even do classes like that. I always wonder about that because I know we have the sign language thing on the news and so on. Yeah. How do you sign Kunumunu for example? Uh, you have to ask Ben, I don't know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't make, make, make up your own sign I perhaps. Suppose, yeah, you know, <laughs> Kunumunu. <I> suppose, <laughs> <laughs> That might be the best thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, let's remind everybody the, the opportunity here for, for all of us to benefit from, from these classes. Start the day after Republic Day, which is next week, Wednesday, at the Caribbean Yard campus. Uh, it's going to be at the Lloyd Best Institute of the Caribbean at 91. Uh, the, it's Tunapuna Road in Tunapuna. Yes. That's the correct location. Mm -hmm. The contact number, uh, let's, uh, let's give it to you once again, 771-4952-663-5463. Bojpuri classes on the Wednesdays, 5 to 7. Saturdays 2 to 5, Patwa, Thursdays 5 to 7, Saturdays 2 to 5 as well.
from the 25th of September to the 14th of December. You can go on Facebook, Caribbean Yard Campus. You can go on Facebook, Caribbean Hindustani, to get all your information. Lloyd Betts Institute, they have their, their, their website as well. Is there a deadline for registration? No, no, there's not. No. I mean, it so starts from the 21st, but yeah. whenever you come, we accept you. Yes. All right, well, gentlemen, thanks yes. very much uh, for, for being with us. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> in Patwa or Boj for you, because I'm sure I'm going to get it wrong anyway. But, uh, gentlemen, thank okay. you very much. Merci beaucoup. Okay, pas ni problem. Okay, well, uh, sorry, I said <laughs> Well, it's done, done bad in Bhojpuri, right? Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you confused. Uh, so I'm confused already. So let, let's conclude this segment at 7.38 in Trinidad and Tobago. We'll be back right after this.